with Heavy Bag Boxing TV. Y'all make sure you go sub up to my man Heavy Bag Boxing, man. Get your dumb ass in here, hit this bag. The Heavy Bag Boxing TV. Y'all just go ahead and subscribe to Heavy Bag Boxing TV because he be lit on his channel. And Heavy Bag Boxing. Heavy Bag Boxing TV. Yo, shout out to Heavy Bag Boxing TV. Heavy Bag Boxing TV. Heavy Bag Boxing TV. Now listen, somebody gonna have to explain to me what what what's the problem with this picture? Somebody gotta explain to me what 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 seem why is so much animosity surrounding this picture, this damn picture you seen in the thumbnail, this picture right damn here. Well, what's the problem? Huh? What seems to be the problem? Why is we mad about this picture? Now, I done seen all kind of stuff in the comment section from the fans. And I just, for the life of me, don't understand the animosity. I don't understand the negativity when it comes to this picture right here. We got to talk about it. What up, YouTube? Big T.O. Heavy Bag Boxing TV. Man, get your big goofy ass in here. And I mean that when I say it because y'all are a bunch of goofies. Get your goofy ass in here. Hit the bag. Hit that like button for your boy. I, I call it, man. And it's crazy because I call you a goofy. And then I ask you to hit the like button. <laughs> but hit that like button for your boy. You know, it helps the channel. Appreciate that love. Shout out my gang, man. My bag hitters. Y'all know the count. But nah, man, on a serious note. Now, I know it's been a riff between the brothers. They identical brothers. They've been with each other all their damn life. And here recently with everything that's been going on with uh jamal charlo between him and his wife um you know him being out of the ring so long um it's just been some adversity in the personal life of jamal charlo um and i think that kind of leaked into the relationship with his brother and caused a bit of you know um to tension to say the least right um, so it's been reported that they haven't been seeing eye to eye lately. They haven't been in each other's presence and company a lot here recently. Um, and now I, 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 I kind of understand how this could potentially look. You got Bud Crawford, who's somebody who's basically an adversary at this point in time of a Jamel Charlo. There has been some Internet talk, tough talk between the two back and forth. Uh, after Bud Crawford beat the brakes off of Earl Spence, you know, from the ring, he was he was hollering at Jamel Charlo. They had some back and forth there. Uh, and immediately after uh, Jamel Charlo lost to Canelo Alvarez, which he didn't put up a whole big fight like a, a lot of people uh, felt like he would. A lot of people say he laid down. We're going to talk about all this in my next live as well, too. Got to You got to got to check that out. Um, but after that, he calls out Bud Crawford. Um, but listen, this is kind of a peep behind the curtain. You got to understand this. These guys are professionals. These guys have given a life to the sport of boxing. Does it look bad? It may be, you know what I'm saying? If Bud Crawford is in fact an enemy, but is he really? There's no real beef between Bud Crawford and Jermel Charlo outside of the ring. It's not like Bud went over to their mama house and plucked her in the back of the head. No, you know what I'm saying? It's just, just a competitive beef, you know, at the end of the day. Bud Crawford is snooping around their divisions, and, you know, he got his chest poked out. He wants to take on whom he feels is the best in the biggest fights. That's it. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's from a, the beef is derived from a competitive nature. That's all. Um, so when you pull something negative out of this picture, uh, I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, it's just two brothers with their lovely wives sharing a moment. You know what I mean? Now, I don't know who idea this was <laughs> to take this picture, it looked like somebody was like, yo, get together real quick. Let me snap this one. This would be a good picture. And they both agreed to do it. Or it could have been Bud or Jamal's uh, uh, idea. But either way, it's just a photo, man. It's two 
fighters who obviously have a mutual respect, whether or not Bud is a, a future opponent or an adversary of his twin brother right now, that's completely in ring business out of the ring. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with two brothers having a respect for one another. And I just, I guess for me, for the fans to not be able to see that and understand like it's a, it's already enough adversity in the world for these guys. You know what I mean? For us, period. So, uh, to be civil in public, you know, whether or not the competitive nature overtakes them in moments or not, you can come together with your lovely ladies, take a photo and enjoy the event. It looked like they bring their wives to, you know, the biggest boxing event, uh, this month. And, uh, you know, or this, this quarter, I should say, probably more than likely and, uh, having a good time. You know what I mean? Uh, I just hate to see so much negativity being uh depicted here man so much negativity being pulled out of this photo when it's really just a couple of brothers and a ladies having a mutual respect for one another and it looks like appears like having a good time and for jamal charlo for everything he's been through to see him in a picture smiling you know what i'm saying with his wife looking like you know he looking better than he's 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 been looking here in recent memory uh yeah i think it's just dope you know at the end of the day uh but i get it you know you feel like bud crawford's the villain right now when it comes to the twins uh you know he, you feel like he's uh, uh the enemy right now uh but it doesn't have to be that he's the enemy outside of the ring because again everything boils down to just them being competitive in the sport of boxing nothing is personal and one thing i can say about bud crawford and even jamal jamal's always been a little level head i think for for the most part is always jamel who you know emotions be riding high and for the life of me i don't understand why them emotions won't ride in high versus canelo alvarez in the build-up to this fight he was humbled and had mad respect for Canelo. Matter of fact, I don't want to hear no more of that rah-rah shit from <laughs> Jamel Chalo moving in the future when it comes to Bud or anybody else. Because bro, bro was mad respectful <laughs> when it came to uh, uh, Canelo Alvarez for sure. Um, but... You know what I'm saying? I, I just think for, for Bud, it's always business. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. And for all of them, that's the way it should be. I just don't see nothing wrong with this this photo right here. I think it's I think it's a dope pick. Uh, just two brothers out with their wives having a good time. But you guys let me know what you think in the comment section, man. Do you believe that uh, Jamal Charlo should not be fraternizing with the so-called competitive enemy? Does that even make a lot of sense? Guys, let me know what you think in the comment section, man. That's all I got for y'all on this one, man. Big T.O. Heavy Bag. You know who I got with me. Talk to him, Roger. Most motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing.